All right, we got our first load here. There's Haley with one of the mattresses. Doing it all by myself. <laughs> Someone has to film. Got some pillows and TVs in here. So let's get this stuff out and in the house. Hey, welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video. It was about buying the Airbnb and the process of that. Now I wanted to share the process of setting it up, which was awesome. It was so much fun to set this up with my wife Haley um, from buying all the stuff to driving it down there and setting it up from all the cardboard that we'd have. Um, it was awesome. So I wanted to share this process with you because it can be daunting and I'm hoping through this process, you watching these videos, that I could help you buy a rental, whether it be a long-term or short-term rental. That's one of my goals. It's never to brag or anything like that. I just wanna show you the process. So maybe you could do this also. And I really wish I had time to document uh, more of the process from us buying stuff on Amazon, from Haley going to um, all the stores that she goes to, um, and all that kind of stuff because it's a lot of work to set up a whole house. I mean, you're setting up, this house had four bedrooms, uh, two and a half baths, um, a kitchen, um, and all these things. So you have to supply everything when you set one of these up from the couch in the living room to all the TVs to uh, pillows. Like I had to buy pillows and I made a mistake where I bought, I thought I was buying 20 pillows, but they were in packs of two. So when the <laughs> delivery guy came, we had 40 pillows in our yard, in our in our um, driveway. It was crazy. I think I got a picture. I'll throw that in there. But yeah, just little mistakes like that. But it's kind of funny, and I, I can't tell you enough how much fun it is setting one of these up. All right, so we're going to open up our mattress here. We just carried it upstairs, so if I'm breathing heavy, that's why. Sorry. Haley's got the knife. Uh, this other end is open, babe, if you just want to pull it out of there. Well, I tried. So this is a queen, it's a 10 inch, uh, just a mattress foam. Hey, they give us a free gift. Ooh. Box opener. Alright, let's do it. It's just crazy to think that's gonna blow up and become a mattress out of that box. In the box. So, That's getting bigger. It's going to look way different with the bedroom furniture in here. I gotta hold the camera. You wanna tag me in? Oh, wow, it's almost done now. <laughs> Probably about four inches now. How long does it take? 
36 hours, I believe, ish, roughly. So by Christmas Day. <laughs> is that a vent bug already? <laughs> Shut up. This what is place, it? it's a ladybug. Ladybug. There's a bunch of them. This looks like a ladybug homicide. Everything in the <laughs> There you go, there you have it. Three minutes, you have a mattress. Oh, there we go. There we have a queen. Right now, it's this thick. Hopefully, it'll be about this thick. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, totally. So here's a look at all the kitchen supplies we had to get. Pots, plates. All the silverware, um, cups, shot glasses, wine glasses, all the spatulas, uh, towels for the kitchen. Um, here is our coffee bar that Haley designed. It looks awesome for people that love to drink coffee. Here's the living room. I put the two stands there together. We got the rug out. We got some Christmas tree type stuff out. There's the TV. Here's Santa's workshop. I got one of the chairs done and four more to go. These are not fun to put together, but it's going to be awesome. Well, we made a lot of trips down. Here's the table for the patio that we got Amish made. This is the blocks that we use for the uh, fire pit outside. Here's another truckload of all the beds and some uh, dressers and that kind of stuff. Here's the locks. I've since upgraded my lock to work um, better than this one. Here is kind of like the mess that we just kind of threw in the garage while we unloaded. And here is actually a bed frame. It works really, really nice. It's a Zenus um, bed, bed frame. Here is me putting together the day bed after they sent us the wrong pieces. I was posing. Here's Haley napping and relaxing. I had to get back at her. Here's me hanging the TV above the fireplace. Here is the grill that we had to put together. That was fun. And our uh, rockers for the front porch that we got from Cracker Barrel. Here's me laying out the 4x4s, ready for the lights, and then working on the fire pit. So we're here at the Airbnb. Uh, we were here for the weekend doing some spring cleaning uh, around the yard and inside the house. We laid some mulch, but we got one big surprise I wanted to show you. So check it out. So here is our fire pit. We have four Adirondack chairs. No, sorry, five. I can't count. Five chairs with our fire pit. Then we have our string lights up here that look beautiful at night. I don't have time to shoot it at night but right here we will have right here is our grill propane tank gas grill in the backyard here one one thing I wanted to show you currently that is the exact time but this side does not work so I just set it to five o'clock because it's five o'clock somewhere I need like a little sticker to put up on there I can't get that side to work but our biggest surprise is our hot tub. This is a five seater. It is beautiful. It is nice. Jaw here in view, in, in, in view, the private backyard, the scenery. There's nothing here. This is just very, very nice setting here. We are located in Oak Hill right outside of the New River Gorge National Park. Still have to mulch around that tree. I did cut down that. I still need to get to that one. We'll get to it. Again, here's the fresh mulch we laid in front of this beautiful front porch. We got two rockers there. And two rockers here. They're Cracker Barrel rockers. Very nice. Sit here and enjoy the front yard. Very quiet neighborhood here. 
in West Virginia. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this episode. And if you're ever heading to the New River Gorge National Park, please keep our Airbnb in mind. I'll link it at the bottom down here. Make sure you like this content, like it and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Take care. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it and subscribe, share it with your friends and turn on that notification for new uh, videos that happen like once a month or once every two months. It's just crazy busy. Um, I just do this for fun and to document it for my kids one day so they can watch this and uh, see what's all going on so they can learn from it. And um, also to help you, that's, that's another goal of mine is to make this available so you can see the process and it's, it's not too hard. You just have to take action. You know, if you want to do something or some side money, some side hustle jobs, you just have to do it. Throw yourself out there and try it. at times so I wanted to do a documentary as uh, <laughs> us setting some of it up it's a big task to set up a huge house um, a rental it's it's like a whole house oh my god hey welcome back to the channel um, I, it's been a while since I did a video the last one was setting up the air or oh my gosh I hope everyone takes care and and I hope you all enjoyed this. I want everyone to take... <laughs>